A family from Crystal Ray Village, Corozal District, including the entire community, is mourning the unthinkable, inhumane death of one of their own as a criminal and internal investigation is being carried out by the Belize Police Department. It's a shocking um, event or shocking story, more or less, more than anything because it's a relative. So for me to get a bad news like that and in this situation which had happened, everything that makes it like unbelievable, no? Like many are, are saying it right now, they can't believe it. How will you forget someone in a vehicle for so much time, especially at the police department? So, um, well, it's sad, sad, sad for the family. I, I am a family to them, so I have the same feelings for, for him and for the family too. No? 20 year old Derek O was socializing here on Saturday night at the San Joaquin Fiesta. Sometime after midnight, he was detained by police and placed inside a prison van about 100 yards from where I'm standing. It is inside that van that O would lose his life. The officers were working at San Joaquin Fiesta Saturday night, um, during which they had detained a young man who apparently was under the influence um, you would know San Joaquin do not have a police station, and so there's no detention cell there. So what they did was to put him in the back of the police prison van. Now, for those of you who know the prison van, the prison van, um, the back of those vans are sealed, properly sealed. And it do requires the engine to be running for there to be ventilation in the portion where prisoners are normally kept. And so while they were at the um, show, the, the, the grounds, the van was on, and so there was ventilation who was inside the police van for over 12 hours. The van, which remains parked in front of the Corozal police station, was left in the sweltering heat, and there was no form of ventilation. To understand how hot inside the van was, data from weather stations in the Corozal district recorded that maximum temperatures on Sunday were in the range of 88 to 91 degrees Fahrenheit, but that's for shaded and ventilated areas. Reports to News 5 are that, oh, was discovered shirtless with blisters on his body. Apparently, after the um, event was over, the van was taken to the Crozal police station where it was parked. And somehow, uh, based on what I am told, I, I was not there, but based on what I am told, was that the officers may have forgotten that they had the young man in the back of the vehicle. Um, yesterday evening, when the driver of the van, who normally takes the van to prison, to, to ferry prisoners, went to um, service the van to make sure it was roadworthy for today. He discovered the lifeless body of the young man in the back of the, the van. Um, he was taken to the Corozal Hospital where he was pronounced dead. The Belize Police Department is catching flack for the incident as the family is calling for justice. Justice for Derek, sure, because uh, as a relative, I myself would want more than just hear a story. I want to hear or get the facts on what really happened there, no? So uh, justice is, is, we need more than justice in this case. And I have directed a criminal and internal investigation into the matter. Um, those police officers who are responsible for placing your man in the back of the vehicle will have to be dealt with some way or the other. Um, the file will be prepared and sent to the DPP office for instructions and then we'll move forward from there. Forgive me for asking the obvious here, but what accounts for this kind of gross oversight? But I cannot say, uh -huh. but as I said, those who are responsible must be held accountable for what happened. Um, the death of the young man cannot go in vain. He do have family, he have loved ones who certainly want answers and it is our responsibility to provide the answers for them. Who was the only boy of three siblings, and according to his relatives, he was to commence his associate's degree program at Corzal Junior College this month. He was a good person. Uh, he liked to work, everything. He was, he was studying, and he liked, he liked his work at construction. And I understand that he was supposed to go back to school, right? right yeah, today, he, right? yeah, he, he was turning to school today, but. He, he never had to go. He was a person that whenever he's, he meets you, his words was primito, primito, primito here, primito there. 
just that way, you know, I had never had a problem with him as a family or a friend. You know, usual things when someone drinks is a bit different than no, normal, no? But he wasn't a troublemaker like that, right? Well, not that I know. So he was a calm person. He, he works during the week and then just have one or two off, so, mm. but a very calm person, respectful. Dwayne Muda for News 5.